Well, as an American, we have a history of um, protesting things that we stand against, and um, so that was one aspect of it. The other aspect is, as a Muslim, I um, have a great uh, objection to the way that he's talking about Muslims, and not just Muslims, but um, all hate speech in general. So it was really a sta standing up against the whole concept of hate speech because of the way that it could um, spiral Did out Did you control. expect to get thrown out of the event? Was that what you were hoping for? I was, I was expecting, I wouldn't say hoping for, but I was assuming that I would uh, once I stood in protest because I've, I've seen that um, he's asked people to leave before. Well, asked is putting it lightly. <laughs> what do you think should happen to Donald Trump now with the debate here in the parliament on Monday? Well, the, the issue is the concept uh, or the, the question of hate speech and what it um, causes. And so when, uh, when I was sitting, before I stood up in protest, uh, the people around me were very nice, they were very cordial, and they were decent human beings, which I believe most people are. The problem is when you get into this mob mentality, which is what he'd whipped folks into this frenzy, then this mob mentality, it's almost like a different entity. The people are not individuals. They're behaving um, in a way that is very dangerous, not just for Muslims, but for all people who uh, are caught up in that. Do you think it's a mob mentality for a petition now to call for a ban on him to the UK? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. Well, do you oh, think that Donald Trump should be banned from the UK? I think that he should. I think that it would be, it would send a message. I think he has to change his rhetoric. And honestly, it's not necessarily against Trump. It's about the concept of hate speech. Well, and why, it's something that needs to be stopped. Wh why isn't that a product of a mob mentality, signing a petition then, calling for a ban when you don't like him calling for a ban? It's the concept is what the what the results happen when somebody is standing there, um, and, and it was very evident in the room where I was where I was in. Like I said, that it's the the whipping up of uh, calling people, um, even saying you know they hate us, is something that causes. If, when you say they hate us, it's like oh, well if they hate me, if they hate me, I'm going to hate them right back. And so that that whole concept, it's it's what it inspires people to do in a group. Do you think That's that he believes what he's saying? Do you think he's tapping into something that um, Americans, some Americans already thought? Or do you think that he is creating this feeling now? There is, there is a group, an Islamophobic network um, at work in America that is very um, active and very well funded that is probably providing him with inaccurate information and is probably uh, feeding into his and some of the fears of folks in America. There's a group called uh, Fear, or a, a report called Fear Inc., Fear INC, which outlines those folks. So, so it's not just him. Do you, if he gets the nomination for the Republican uh, presidency, what do you think will happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think Canada will have an immigration problem. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I, d I don't know. I, um, I really hope that once he gets, if, if once this thing starts to pan out, that people will start to realize that hate speech is not the way that America wants to be represented to the world. Are you um, scared that that would happen? Would that uh, make you reconsider your position, if you like, in, in the United States? No, I think that if he does, if, if he does win, I think that there's going to be a whole lot of work to do to combat any type of um, the things that he's saying that he wants to impl in, insti um, institute. So I think that but there will be a lot of work that needs to be done and people need to stand up against it. But you would like on Monday to hear UK legislators ban Donald Trump from coming here? That would be great. There's also, there's also a resolution in uh, South Carolina where uh, Representative uh, John King has entered a resolution to ban him from South Carolina. Rose Hammond, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.